hey guys you welcome back to my channel you guys i'm still on the issue of asthma so um today remember that the last topic the last um content i was not able to finish everything i kind of just told you guys just to you of how asthma started um with me and so today we are going to be talking about it in green sense what is asthma because a lot of times people feel like asthma is this kind of disease that when you have it you begin to spread it around you cough you give it to somebody else you sneeze you give it to somebody else because you have it and a lot of times uh, people see you and they just want to stay clear from you they want to treat you differently because you are asthmatic and so today and at times a lot of us you even if you're asthmatic you don't really know that you're asthmatic and some of them don't even know what asthma really is they just feel like asthma 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 what is asthma asthma is a long-term disease that affects your lungs it's a lung disease this is a disease that affects your airways it does not allow hair to come in mostly when you are having an episode you're having an attack it does not allow hair to come in where into your lungs if that is a very big problem now I want to show you guys a picture what a normal lungs looks like and what um, somebody with an asthmatic their lungs look like now this is a picture don't know if you guys can see yeah this is a picture this is a normal airway yes that carry air to your lungs that's the lungs there and this is somebody with an asthma can you see this so when you are having an asthma as you can see this place is relaxed but when you are having an episode as an asthmatic this becomes ticking the wall as you can see this place um i don't know if you guys can see that place there is thick and um, this place is looking small with a lot of mucus as you can see a lot of mucus on it so it's very difficult for her to pass through it so can you imagine somebody's trying to breathe through this small hole and somebody breathing like this this is a very big a significant difference a very big difference as you can see so if you are asthmatic these are some of the things that you go through so if if for instance you have a child you have a sister you have a brother you have a wife who is asthmatic and you don't really know what asthma is i am telling you basically is right now your chest your 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 how do i break it down your your airways cannot carry as much hair as your lungs need it becomes difficult for you to breathe and what are the symptoms the symptoms of asthma at times is called different symptoms from different various kinds of people different people have different kinds of symptoms but the basic ones are coughing a shortness of breath uh, that thereby find it difficult for you to breathe basically and um wheezing um i've talked about coughing and at times you you find out that it's very difficult for you to breathe your chest, uh, chest um tightness of the chest is another symptoms so if you have a family member and you see that they are having these symptoms you should know that this person is asthmatic if you don't know and there are different type of asthma there's a childhood asthma there's um uh, exercise induced asthma there's asthma that comes in your childhood adulthood there's trauma uh, asthma there's asthma that is caused by hair pollution so um asthma is 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 a very serious thing i like to say because um few days ago that's why i didn't put up a court ten day two weeks ago because i almost died of it like literally <laughs> though i've had it for a very long time this goes to show you that um 
this country people can kill you for nothing people do anything and they behave anyhow and they get away with it i woke up sunday morning and discovered that i couldn't breathe from my sleep i was having like somebody was choking me i woke up and i found my room i was in total darkness with smoke everywhere i had to rush pick up my kids run outside what was happening? Somebody close to my compound decided to pack everything, whether he cleared or something, and it was not dried, plastic and everything, and he was burning it close to the fence. And I lived upstairs, and the smoke was just coming in. See, I ended up in the hospital, emergency, and I was placed on Sabutamon. I was on oxygen. I couldn't breathe and it was going on for a while. Even till now, as I'm sitting here, I've not recovered fully. I'm just like 80% or 85% there. I don't am better. But it kind of awakened my senses out and I was like, like people need to be educated about it. So what can you do to support? What can you do as a family member? What can you do as a friend? What can you do as a passerby when you see somebody who has asthmatic attack? First of all, if they have their inhaler, please help them with it. If you are a family member, if you have a child or a husband or a wife who is asthmatic, make sure that their inhaler is always with them. This is eventually inhaler. When you have an attack, you just kind of place it in your mouth and... As you can see like two pump of it and take it in you know allow it to come down if it doesn't work go in again and another thing i want to say is that if you have attack before it comes it comes in different forms there are some that come without even telling you or giving you a sign but i always feel there's always a teeny bitty teeny wincy bitty <laughs> you know sign there that this thing is coming if, if you if you've experienced it for a very long time or or if you just experiencing it you knew you you don't really know what it is there's always this like maybe a wheezing coughing um or just a little bit of tightness uh, around your chest and um shortness of breath and and when you feel these um, symptoms, I think the best thing for you to do is try as much as you can to immediately take your inhaler. When you are done, you can go ahead and take, go to the hospital if you if it doesn't work. So um, another thing I want to say is that you have to know your triggers. You have to know the things that triggers this um, asthma. Because a lot of times, people have different things that trigger theirs. Um, for me, I hate pef, uh, frying, and um, fortunately, I now know that smoke is one of them, and dust. Um, for others, it's cold and other things. Um, cockroaches, um, dirty environments, and people, so at times, if you are an asthmatic person, I don't know what you are doing with rug in your house. So, and try to keep your environment tidy and clean. If you are a mother and you have a child that is asthmatic, please, please, please take care of that child. Know what the trigger is. Know what causes it for him or her. You can um, go around and get, um, um, make sure that our drugs are always intact. And make sure that she's clean, she's tidy, her environment is clean and tidy. And make sure that there is no dust. And um, try as much as you can to cover her up. Another thing you can do, when somebody is already having an attack, that is not the time to start covering that person and trying to cover. Like, <laughs> my mom literally did this to us. Like, she will cover you or cover your head. And it's like you are being suffocated, like you want to even die. Like when somebody is having an asthmatic uh, attack, at that time, that person needs all the help that person can get. So what do you do to help? Open the windows, open the curtains, 
Make sure the environment is clean. Let the pet, let the hair come in. Don't go and wear that person over too much of tight clothes. And that person should avoid taking cold water at that particular time because trust me, you want cold water because inside of you will be hot and you will be sweating because it takes stress. It takes a lot of energy for you to breathe that particular time. You want to avoid taking cold water. At that period, that period of your time, try as much as possible to be taking warm water. It's going to help you. And please, 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 if you are a person and you know that your asthma is a serious one um because at times some people asthma is quite um deadly it's quite serious it's something that they need somebody around them because it's not easy okay in my case the other day i had this asthma attack for like few days i didn't go to your hospital i was using this ela this is the problem when you are having a very bad attack, this inhaler will not work anymore. It will not work. So you have to go to the hospital and they will have to place you on sabutamol and you know give you um um nebulize you and all that. So please, as much as you can, don't play with your life, don't play with your head. If you are a friend, if you are a family, please indulge to help these people out because asthma is quite deadly a lot of times people don't want to talk about it people just sweep it under the carpet like and at times people just want to pretend it's not wrong with me that's it's not my portion in the name of jesus man in the name of jesus also to me i'm not a pagan like i prayed yes god actually did it can it be cured yes it can and at times it cannot it can be managed yeah, depend on your faith. There's nothing God cannot do. In my own case, it didn't happen to me for years because I was always praying and all that. But suddenly it came back since I moved to Lagos. And <sighs> as you can see the way I'm breathing now. So it's really difficult for me to breathe this period. And I am struggling so hard to make this video, to create this content right now. So it started all over again. See, as much as I like to pretend, I would like to pretend and say no i'm not asthmatic yes it is what it is if i am using this inhaler that's the problem at times people don't want to use the inhaler they feel like when you use the inhaler it just shows that you're asthmatic well this inhaler can help you control that asthma and you can control it i've seen people control their asthma to the point of not having um any attack for over five years ten years and it's because they've been able to to manage it if you can just manage it know what triggers it and stay away from those things like really stay away from it when you are having cough what i do is that i try as much as possible not to have cough often because cough usually triggers mine so um it is not mine in the name of jesus but it is there i cannot deny it and at times people feel like you can share it around and give it to other people so please you cannot give asthma to anybody you cannot pass it to anybody asthma is something that is hereditary it's something that like you have diabetes in your family you have um hypertension in your family so probably somebody will have it in the family also so that is the way asthma is don't think that anytime somebody with an asthma pass you or pass by or stay close to you or cough that they are going to give you asthma they are not going to because uh, you are not a member of their family and it's not everybody in the family that gets it so um the 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 main reason for asthma has not really been detected yet but they just know that at times it happens at times maybe your mother has it or your mother's brother had it you might end up having it or your kids may end up having it or their children may end up having it that is how it goes it doesn't go by sharing you cannot give asthma to somebody else because you have asthma so um when i was in the hospital that day when i was having the attack at times people are embarrassed please don't be embarrassed for having asthma you can never be embarrassed about it 
um somebody told me of Heidi Abila whenever she's going for a visit. This is somebody very close to me. Um don't hide it. Don't hide it from anybody. They should be ashamed of themselves for laughing at you. They should be ashamed of themselves for thinking that something that's keeping you alive to regulate you, to keep you alive is, 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 is deadly. To think that you have a disease that you are spreading around. When I was in the hospital that day, when they discovered that I was having an attack, a lot of women with their pregnancy, they were looking at me somehow. And it was, I can't deny it was, I was embarrassed, like, what are you doing? The fact that you are not educated enough or you don't want to educate yourself about it doesn't mean that I have to be ashamed of myself for something that happened to me. I didn't choose it. This is something that happened to every, well, to people. It's not like they literally went around because they were flirting or because they were kissing everybody or because they were, they were filao getting up and down. That's how they got it. Man, for God's sake, people should wake up. This is 2022, for God's sake. You should go think, if, if you, if you hear of something, if you hear of something and you don't understand it, go to the Google and search for it. Don't, don't treat people basically because you think that, because you have one knowledge. Or because somebody told you that this is what this is and this is what it is. When people see people that has BP, um, blood sugar and all that, they don't run away with, from them. But at times people see you with inhaler and they run away from you. Why? Like, oh God. It's so, it's so shocking. So my advice to you, if you're asthmatic, is to take care of yourself and be proud of what you have nobody absolutely nobody should make you small and make you feel like you don't deserve to live because you are strong honestly any asthmatic person i've ever known are strong because if you have to go through what they go through on daily basis just imagine that you cannot it, you cannot even imagine it because you are not experiencing it it takes a lot it takes a lot they have to go through trauma they are traumatized because at times i ask myself why why do i have to go through this why is this is 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 difficult it's a difficult life to live mostly at that time you are having that episode you are going through that pain it's a very difficult time it is um a time you need people to be supportive you need people in your life see if somebody is having an attack and they begin to talk to you anyhow it's not their fault because at that particular time they are between life and death and their their body is hot they are hot and they talk they can say anything to you they can even shout on you or speak they can do anything on to you but please be patient with them and just allow them to get better and you see that they will apologize for everything they've ever done wrong so please if you are a mother please take care of your kids take care of your baby take care of that child that child is special and that child is strong and if you are a husband or a wife and your spouse is asthmatic he or she is strong you don't know what he or she goes through um please be supportive of them and try to keep them happy and and encourage them and pray for them it's very important because there's nothing god can absolutely not do and he's our healer he's our maker and he he has done it for so many people and he can do it for you so guys i hope and that I've been able to talk to you and um, educate you on what asthma is and how to really go about it and how to help and how to 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 reach out and what to do. 
so um so guys i want to thank you all for listening and i want you to share this video to your friends to your loved ones and and be strong so have a wonderful time and a lovely lovely time with your family and friends i'll see you on my next video bye guys